Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to make a Wi-Fi smartphone controlled mode lamp. This is pretty easy to make and you can make it in just 5 minutes. So without wasting, let's get started. In this project we will use the Node MCU to make the mode lamp. The Node MCU is a popular development board to get started with the Internet of Things and Wi-Fi related project. It is also better than the SP8266 version 1 as it has large number of I.O. available and also more stable. We will also need a mini breadboard and one RGB LED. If we bend the RGB LED's anode link like this and then taking the RGB pins we connect it to the T6, 7 and 8. Now we have this pin floating so we need to connect this pin with the VCC or the V input. Using the jumper we will this to the VCC and here is the circuit done so right now we need to upload the sketch into this node MCU and then set up the app so that we can make our mode lab into action we will fire up the blink app first and once the blink app opens we need to click on the plus icon over here so that we can create a new project and first we will select the hardware that we are working on in this case node mcu and then we'll, we'll, we will be writing the project name so once we have done this we need to create the project so once you have your project generated you will have a blank screen and you can add up a lot of widgets so I will be using the zebra RGB widget so once we have the zebra RGB widget we need to define the RGB pins in our case that is 6, 7 and 8 so just change the pin to 6 so once we have set up the value will start from 0 and will go to 1023 for the node MCU. So one of the things that you need to change because of common anode is you have to go from the max to the low because of the high voltage. So what I will be doing, I will be quickly changing all the values to opposite So once we have done it, the value should go from high to low on changing and that will be the perfect for common anode. If you are having a common cathode then you don't need to change, everything will be fine. So once you have the app ready, you need, you will be needing this code, this is the authentication code that you will need to run on the node MCU. So we need to send us an email and this is sending the email consisting this application code and we need to write this authentication code in the program itself. Once the node MCU is programmed we need to connect it to a power source in this case we will be using uh, DC adapter or a mobile charger so Once it is connected, just disconnect the pin, press the reset and wait for a while and then just plug it in. So once the node MCU is online, I can actually change the color like this. So I 
like the paper always ruptured because it gives a unique texture and now we'll be turning off the light so you can see how actually it looks in the dark If you like this video, perhaps you will like some of my others. Do check them and do subscribe. See you then.